Listen to our first reading this Sunday from the Book of Wisdom. Scarce do we guess the things on earth, and what is within our grasp we find with difficulty. But when things are in heaven, who can search them out? Or whoever knew your counsel, except you had given wisdom and sent your Holy Spirit from on high? What this reading is, from the Old Testament is, is addressing are the two different ways in which we come to know the truth. There is the way of reason, which we, um, we use our natural faculties, uh, our intellect, to come to conclusions about uh, the world around us based on our, um, the data that we collect through our senses, things that we can see, things that we can touch, things that we can test in a laboratory, right? So this would be the sciences, this would also be philosophy. But then there's also the truth of faith. And these are truths that deal with heavenly matters, things that are supernatural and so outside of our observation. We can never deduce them on our own, and so they have to be revealed to us by God, and faith is that virtue uh, that allows us to assent to that truth. So reason, for example, could lead us to the conclusion that God must exist as the first cause of of existence, Um, but only God's own revelation could reveal to us that he exists as three persons in one God, the Holy Trinity. So uh, reason could allow us to believe that God exists, but faith is what allows us to believe that God is three in one. These two things are not um, you know, incompatible with each other, but they're complementary to each other. And this is how the Catholic Church has always understood the relationship between faith and reason, that uh, the type of knowledge that they lead us to is, is different. Uh, faith is above reason in the sense that it allows us to Um, believe these supernatural truths, but it's certainly not contrary to reason. Uh, When you become uh, a Christian and certainly a Catholic, you're not asked to check your intellect at the door, check your reason, check your reason at the door and no longer engage in it. Um, In fact, in his great encyclical Fides et Ratio, which means faith and reason, um, Pope St. John Paul II wrote in 1998, He began that with uh, the statement that faith and reason are like two wings on which the human spirit soars to contemplation of the truth. So in proper Catholic understanding, there's never been a conflict between faith and reason. Uh, The popular narrative, though, is that there is this conflict in Christianity between faith and between reason, especially science. And the example that's often trotted out is Galileo. Uh, Didn't, you know, Galileo get in trouble with the church for advancing science? Uh, well, no, that's not why he got in trouble with the church. There was more politics involved than, than actual science. Um, I'm not going to do an apologetics for Galileo, but I do want to point out that, you know, it's funny how whenever people want to paint the church to be anti-science, they always bring up Galileo. Uh, and that's because, really, there's no better example in the past 400 years of uh, scientists getting on the wrong side of the church. Um, Instead, we should be thinking about all of the faithful Catholic scientists who have um, advanced our understanding of the universe. Uh, Copernicus, uh, Isaac Newton, these were faithful Catholics. Um, Gregor Mendel, who is a father of of genetic study, he was an Augustinian friar. Galileo himself was a faithful Catholic. Even if he, you know, got into uh, um, some trouble with the Pope at the time, he was a faithful Catholic. In fact, he wrote in a letter in 1615, I do not feel obliged to believe that the same God who has endowed us with sense, reason, and intellect has intended us to forego their use. Uh, And this has always been the Catholic understanding that God gave us our reason and our rationality and he intends us to use it. Um, St. Augustine of Hippo, way back in uh, in the fifth century, wrote that God is the author of two books, the book of scripture and the book of creation. And both of these books teach us about the truth of the creator. Uh, And this has always been the spirit of the Catholic Church. Um, And even still is today. The Vatican actually um, operates its own astronomical observatory and employs scientists and clergy to work there. Um, In fact, the, uh, the scientist who first posited the Big Bang theory was Father, Father, George Lemaitre, who was a Jesuit priest, um, but also an astronomer and a cosmologist. So, in the true understanding of the Catholic faith, there is no conflict between faith and reason. And in fact, it could be argued, and it has been argued, that it's only within the Christian um, worldview that the natural sciences can really flourish. Um, And this is true historically, even though other cultures across the world have um, had scientific advancements, we really only see science as a form of knowledge flourishing in the West, in the Christian West, 
Because what Christianity does is it lays that groundwork and it tells us that God is ordered and rational, and therefore the creation that he makes is also ordered and rational, which means it's capable of being known. And also that God is good, and therefore the creation that he makes is fundamentally good, which means it's good for us to know it. So that means that the world around us is capable of being known and that it's good for us to know it because by studying the world around us and the cosmos that we're in, we come to understand in a more deep way the mind of God. Just like by studying a painting, we come to understand something about the mind of the artist. So that's why we have a long history in the Catholic Church of encouraging the sciences. In fact, the Catholic Church is the founder of the first universities um, in, in Europe, the whole idea of the university system. System. So anytime someone suggests to you that to be a Catholic, to be a Christian, you have to check your reason at the door or believe in irrational things um, or that the church is somehow anti-science, you just tell them Deacon Matt said otherwise and, uh, and so does history and the Catholic Church. Praise be Jesus Christ.